Hey there, Facebook world. Coming at you live from Denver again. And I'm on my way to Des Moines today. And I haven't hopped on this week to visit, so I wanted to hop on and say hey before we board the plane. So yes, um, I titled this video, Do It Anyway, because I want you all to consider what is it that you keep putting off because you're scared and or maybe you're doing it a little bit but not really enough and we all have these things that hold us back and I know that I've shared with you all before that I get really bad anxiety when I travel and I've even noticed that it comes up when I'm leaving the house to go do anything and so guess what I do it anyway because I know I don't like the way that I feel but I do it anyway, right? And it always ends out incredible. Now, the interesting thing that I wanna share about this with you guys is I'm sure that you all have certain things that you're avoiding doing because you don't like the way it feels. And many of us are networkers, and so we don't like the feeling sometimes of talking to strangers, and that was the case for me. I have shared with you all that I failed public speaking in college, and I had school phobia growing up, which kept me from going to school, and it was all in my head. I had to work through it, and it still shows up for me. And guess what? I keep going and doing it anyway because at the heart of what I'm passionate about is serving other people. And when I love others, then I get out of my own way. So I'm curious, what are you guys avoiding doing? And drop it in the comments. Also, if you catch the replay later, please post re or type replay because I want to um, see what your comments are too. And yeah, I'm just about to hop on this plane and I thought, you know what, I haven't made a video this week because I haven't felt like it, but I have said it in the past that I'm committed to showing up and sharing what I learned along the way. And so I had to make a video, even if I'm here in the airport and I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Can you hear me very well? Um, so here's the other thing I was reflecting on is so many people get so caught up in other people's perfect uh, social media channels you know you guys have been on Instagram I know you have and you just see these incredible beautiful photos and incredible branding and the perfect stories that go with their pictures right and then you feel like you're not enough and then when you feel like you're not enough you shrink back and you get in your own way. That's right, Casey. Get out of your own way. What is it that you need to do today that you've been avoiding? It is time to get out there and do it. Um, so, oh, my sister, I'm going to tag her. Facebook must think I'm, a, I'm my sister because it just asked me to tag her. <laughs> um, okay, so back to this conversation. See, I got on my earbud. I don't even have the newest, coolest earbud things, but who cares? Make do. Doesn't matter. I'm proving to you all, show up and do it anyway. You bring value to the friendships and the relationships. You are the one with your unique personality and story that will help to connect with people and solve whatever problems they might have. Okay, Matthew Kreiner says, avoid flying, LOL. Is that what you're scared of? Um, some of us are scared to talk to a stranger. Maybe you're scared to talk to the person standing in line by you. Maybe you're scared to talk to the person um, at the checkout counter. Maybe you're scared to follow up with someone that you've talked to in the past. What is it that you're scared of? Write it down or type it in the comments, name it and claim it and say, I'm gonna go and do it anyway because your unique personality will uplift and inspire others. Here's what I've learned, people are so wrapped up in their own deal, their own thing, that they actually hold themselves back from living a great life. You are holding yourself back. Nobody else. I know Casey, I'm talking to you because we've done lots of coaching together. Casey, you are the one in your own way. So what is the thing? What is the thing that you need to do? Matthew, same. What is the thing that you need to do? Are in, do you need to get in front of your team? Do you need to share your story and get people together and do it live? You guys, that's what I do every two weeks. I'm on a plane. I'm not making an excuse. I've been building a business in network marketing for 10 years. I could sit back and retire. That is not what I'm doing. I am sitting here on the floor. See? I got a smoothie. Well, I lost it. <laughs> I got a smoothie somewhere. And I'm sitting here on the floor making a live video, 
because I want to motivate you. Someone listening to this video has something that you're meant to do. You're going to take that step out of your comfort zone. You're going to connect with somebody in a way that will benefit them and improve their lives. And as a result, you will get this circle, this circular effect that happens where the blessings rain down. When you get out of your own way and you reach out and you touch others and you lift them up and you inspire them and you spread that love and you speak life into others instead of just worrying about how do I look on a live video in the middle of the airport sitting on the floor, right? Like if I were just sitting there worried about that, I wouldn't be speaking directly to you right now, motivating you to get off your freaking butt and get busy doing the thing that it, you are avoiding. Enough of it already. Stop it right now. We're going to all be together. We might be together this weekend in Des Moines. We might be together in Chicago. We might be together in Seattle. We might be together in Charlotte. I don't know where I'm going to see you, but you better get yourself there because I'm going to motivate you and I'm not going to allow you to play small and hide away from your greatness. Yeah, I know. I have mine here. You can't see the DFT. <laughs> I have got my um, scarf on because it is freezing in this airport, okay? But I've got it where people can see it, loud and proud. And what I've learned as I've gone about this life is that if I <laughs> sit back and, you know, because I shared with you all, I get anxiety. Like, literally was feeling carsick driving to the airport. And I told my husband this, like, in the past, I would always make Rob drive me. But the last couple trips, I'm like, no, I'm driving myself. Because even that, you guys, I know it sounds so stupid to even say this out loud to you all. Because I'm an international traveler. Like, like Brody knows, we did a photo shoot in, um, where did we do it, Brody? Oh, Paris. <laughs> I almost said Mallorca, but I had to cancel that one. Um, I can travel internationally by myself, which I feel kind of proud of, to be honest, having the anxiety that I do. Um, to be able to say, not today, you know, you're not going to hold me back today. And like I said, I will tell Rob, no, nope, don't drive me to the airport. I'm driving myself. And even that, I noticed Jesse, I called my sister two times driving to the airport today. Um, I was like feeling sick to my stomach and nauseous. This is just my story, you all. You all have your thing. Every single one of you have your thing that if you play into it and allow it to get the better of you, it will take you out of the game. What is your thing? What is it? It could be some kind of excuse. It could be physical ailment. It could be a rocky relationship, right? It could be your financial situation. I don't know what your thing is, but you do. And if you're allowing it to hold you back and you're not saying, not today, uh-uh, not today, and you're not stepping through and going to your next level, guess what? You lose again. We don't want to be losing every day. We need to be learning. So today, that's the message. Do it anyway. What is your thing that you need to do anyway? How do you need to serve? Because remember, when you make it about serving and solving other people's problems, you don't make it about yourself and a sales goal or whatever the thing is, right? That's where we see the growth and the progress. That's where I say, when you live in your gifts, the blessings will rain down naturally. It is a formula for success that I have seen proven again and again and again. But it starts with taking that leap of faith and tapping into your gifts and not allowing whatever that negative thing is that you've allowed to hold you back in your life to continue to hold you back. Because if you do, it's sucking. It will suck the living soul right out of you. It'll make you feel not enough. You'll fall into the guilt and the shame story, right? We don't have time for that when we're changing the world together, do we? So we need to be um, accountable to one another. You know, we have to show up and do it anyway. And like I said, that's what I did today. I said to Rob, don't drive me to the airport. It would have been easier on him because his truck was getting its snow tires and I took my car. And... Um, I said to him, no, I need to drive myself. <laughs> and so here, here I am now in Denver and I feel incredible. I don't feel sick to my stomach anymore. But guess what? Yesterday I felt sick to my stomach all day today. This is my pattern and I know it and I recognize it. And Kevin, I know you're on here too. He hears me share this at uh, every one of our trips and on our retreats um, because every single time we go on one, it almost takes me out of the game. But the thing is, I know this about me. And so whatever it is that is 
blocking you from creating a difference in the world, just know we all got our thing. But it's the willingness to recognize it and to own it and step through it. That's where the growth happens. That's where the financial blessings will rain down on you like you cannot imagine. Like you just can't imagine it. So if this has touched your heart today, please drop a comment. Tag your teams. Tag your friends that are in business for themselves. And I'm about to board. Nope, he's going to announce. I, I am a fortunate one because I always board first because I sit first class. It is something that once I started to make money, be, was top priority for me because you get on first, you get well taken care of, you feel good. And Matthew, maybe that's what you need to do. Make the decision. You're going to get on that plane and you're going first class. And yes, it's going to cost more money, but it is a write-off because it's a business expense and you're worth it. You don't have to you know, tell yourself it's selfish. That's not true. You can give big in the world and take care of what you need. Okay? I love you guys. I'm going to get on the plane and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.